Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan back here with another Grounded video. So we've got pretty much everything done in this game. Uh, aside from upgrading all the weapons, having one piece of each uh, set of uh, weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff. Aside from complete customization of our characters. So what I wanted to start doing is trying out these different kind of uh, classes, so to say. So we're going to be doing like a tank class, uh, support damage, DPS, ranged, and stuff like that. So what you can see right here is we're going to start with our ranged class. We're getting here and get out of the uh, get out of the heat. Let's see what we got working here. So what do we have? I'm kind of torn whether I want to stick with just a dagger. I've got a level level seven salty spider fang dagger, and we have a uh, level six salty stinger spear with the crit chance, and then obviously the bleed right here. So the bleed is going to be damage over time. Actually, no, that's going to poison. The uh, Assassin is going to provide uh, damage over time through bleed. And then we have Sharpshooter, which is uh, going to give us the option, not the option, but give us the chance of rooting the target. So I was out here in the sandbox just messing around. I literally just dropped two antlions without even going to a melee weapon. So you can see what we have here. I need to go over the armor. So we do have the Marksman Cap, which is going to increase our bow attack. And it's also light armor. Not too worried about defense here because if I'm going to be playing multiplayer with somebody else, my job is to not get hit. My job is to hit alone, right? So we've got our spider army here, which is going to increase our attack stamina. Um, I was toiling back and forth between the spider armor and the antlion armor. But because I really want to use the marksman cap, I went with the, uh, the spider armor. They're both light armor and we're only losing about one point of defense between the antlion and the spider armor. So not too too worried about that because like i said our goal is to not get hit so we've got our insect crossbow which is also level seven mighty and you can see the damage on that so i just dropped these two antlions like like there was no issue they didn't even get close to me so the mutations we're going to roll with like i said assassin uh, just in case they get close then we can pull out our uh, dagger and until we can dual wield i'm still going to have the uh, the black ant shield with me just in case they get close and they do attack, then we can get a block off. Hopefully a perfect block. Uh, sharpshooter, like I said, we want the quickness because we want to be able to move around a lot quicker. Coup de Grass, phase two for that extra crit chance. And then right now, because I'm out in the sandbox, I've got fresh defense. But if we're running around the rest of the backyard, I'm probably going to have a uh, meat shield on. And again, we only need the uh, hyper stamina. I had that on as well, but don't really need it because we have the attack stamina so we're not running around a lot we're going to be staying similar pretty close to the enemies and just dropping as much damage as we can so let's go test this setup out and see if i can recreate what i just did with the other antlions make sure still got fresh defense on you know what we're going to do too better than starving go ahead and eat a mint as well now, I didn't try it on one in the ground. I just tried it on one that, uh, two of the ones that popped up right here. So we're going to need to get some shade. That's the only issue out here. But I'm curious to see what kind of other setups uh, everybody else is using. So let me know in the comments what you guys are using too. See if we can get on this guy. Just rocket him, got a stun right there. Look at that. It's absolutely demolished. Get the shade here. Any other arrows up here at 28? One should be down here. Now this is gonna be close quarters, so I want to see if the one that pops up here. Let's see how we do against him. So he got pretty close, but still be able to get those arrows off. There should be another one in here. Get our block. Oh, didn't get the perfect block, but... Ooh. All right, see, that got a little hairy there. In these close quarters like that where I'm not going to have a lot of room to run around, 
I think what I do is stick with the uh, the salty spider fang dagger and just drop them like that. But I just wanted to test this out. And I really don't think we need the antlion armor. Because I'm not too worried about the stamina. I think over in the sandbox over here we'll probably use the antlion armor. But when uh, when we're in the rest of the backyard... Let's see what we can do here. Nice. It takes a little bit longer, but man, you get really good. That's why I want to max out uh, Assassin and Sharpshooter just for that added defense. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Missing two arrows. One here. Drink something real quick. And heal up again. We need to make some more uh, smoothies. Now let's see. We've got the salty spear here. Let's see how this does. The only reason I was using the dagger is because I know they're uh, they're weak to slashing. Let's see if we can go get one like this. And use javelin ear instead. get one of these guys alone over here by the castle but yeah I want to do like the tank and uh, straight up DPS and stuff like that too come on just one of you guys come on there you are Still, don't even have to worry about the stamina. Let's see if we can get, uh, get a quick swap. Get a bunch of shots with the arrow and then switch over to our spear. So there we go. Yeah, I just want to do a quick little video just showcasing some of these different classes. So I think I'm going to mess around with this one just outside the sandbox and everything too so I don't have to worry about the sizzle. And then we're going to get into the rest of the armor as well. Because I know obviously there have been some changes to it. So we can mess around. Obviously the roly-poly armor, antlion armor, we can still find a use for that. Like I said, we'll probably end up using this mainly in the sandbox if we're going to do this ranged class. Uh, ladybug armor for the blocking strength that could be tanked as well uh, this one right here too <clears throat> excuse me for the bee armor since we can get those bee stuns off or the bow stuns i'm interested in using this and then once you get the stun then run in with the dagger or the uh, or the spear itself so just something i want to start doing so we're going to be featuring just some little uh, class builds on the channel here coming up for grounded so keep an eye out for it subscribe let me know in the comments down below what classes you guys are using what kind of different customization and armor and weapons and everything you guys have going on. I'm curious to know. So that's all we got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All of that good stuff that we always ask. Stay reasonable, my friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Later.